The News on CBS2. Well, the White Sox World Series win has spawned White Sox victory, a commissioned piece of artwork for the team. Over 150 athletes already own a piece of this artist's work. Opie Otterstadt was in Oak Lawn showing off his art history, and Stephen Bardo has more on the man named the Sports Artist of the Year. Tiger Woods and his four masters. Derek Fisher's dagger against the Spurs in the 2004 playoffs. The Red Sox World Series victory and one of Robert Ory's game-winning jumpers. All historic sports moments captured by Opie Otterstedt. In my work, not only am I uh, pursuing the, the telling of the story of sports or of that hero or of that legend, but also uh, telling a story about fine art and what it means to be a painter. Opie was in Chicago last week to unveil his latest work, the White Sox World Series victory celebration. You have generations of people that have been cheering for the White Sox uh, and for some years they were cheering in silence, I think, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, it, it, what it means to the city, what it means to baseball history is undeniable. Opie, a Houston native and friends of most of the Astros organization, was asked by Lance Berkman would he do his usual World Series piece. Well, despite some pain from the Astros' loss, White Sox fans will love the finished product. That being the culmination of that World Series, People will, it hopefully will spark memories of, you know, a play or a player during that time period, during that series that helps them retell that story to, for generations to come. Opie's work also includes shoeless Joe Jackson, showing he's got some love for the White Sox after all. Stephen Bardo, CBS2 News. And amazingly, Opie did that portrait of shoeless Joe Jackson in charcoal in just one and a half hours. Very talented individual. And in the World Series one, you can see the Black Sox there hovering in the background. It's part of his trademark. He does a story within a story. It's very, very good stuff. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mark.